Hi everyone and welcome to a Recommends Special. Today we're looking at this, the Hammerhead Karoo 2, their new GPS. So now, if you don't know, Road CC Recommends is our curated list of the best stuff that we have reviewed. And there's a link to the full Road CC Recommends page below. Uh, we get through a lot of bikes and gear here at Road CC and lots of it is very good. But bikes and kit need to be really good to make recommends. Yeah. Now, before we delve into this new Karoo 2, let's take a little trip back through Hammerhead's history. Now, the original Hammerhead navigation device actually looked like a Hammerhead. It synced with a phone app mm. and it used LEDs for navigation. Um, it was crowdfunded successfully back in the day. I chucked some of my own money at that particular crowdfunding. Uh, it certainly worked, but it didn't really gain much traction. No, but after that came the original Karoo, which we did actually review back in 2018. With its big screen and Android-based operating system, it was a really big step forward, actually. Um, there were a few issues, it was like pretty bulky, and there was no hardware beep to warn you of upcoming turns, which wasn't the best. But overall, it was an excellent first full GPS and it gained a bit of a cult following. Yeah, and now skip forward to 2021 and the second generation of the Karoo has landed. Um, Anna reviewed the new unit for us and she thought it was excellent. I've been using the Karoo 2 as well for a couple of months now and I'm impressed too. And it's good enough for the world tour. Israel Startup Nation are using this new Karoo, which means riders like Chris Froome and Mike Woods have got one on their bars. So let's have a look at what's in the box. You've got a computer itself, obviously. It's slimmed down considerably from the first generation Karoo, so it's now a comparable size to its direct competitors from the likes of Garmin and Wahoo. You get a 3.2 inch touchscreen with hardware buttons on the side. Inside it's still running Android and there's a 32 gigabyte storage uh, capacity. You also get two gigs of RAM and that's pretty powerful for a spec. The upshot of this is that the Karoo 2's touchscreen and buttons are responsive and there's very little lag when moving between screens. Yeah, and you know the audio alerts too, which is helpful when you're navigating. Um, you can also use those audio alerts to warn you of approaching cars if you've got a Garmin Varia radar uh, and guide you through different intervals in workout mode. So you've got the more compact size and the hardware beep, so Hammerhead has addressed the two main gripes that I had with the first generation Karoo. So in the box, you also get an out front mount for your bars. Hammerhead uses its own mount for the new Karoo, which slides into place with a nice reassuring click, okay. just like that. Um, it's also apparently you know, a little bit aero, but it does look sleek as well. Um, that being said, if you've already got a bunch of Garmin mounts, then you also get this quarter turn plate that slides into the mount. So you can use them instead. Although apparently that's not as light if those things actually matter oh, yeah. to you. Uh, Hammerhead includes a lanyard so that you can use a bit of additional safety, um, but we've had no issues with either mounting system. The Karoo 2 also has all the connectivity you'd expect. So you can connect it to Bluetooth and Ant Plus uh, sensors and devices. It also has a Wi-Fi connection for uploading rides and downloading updates. And as well as all that, there's a SIM card slot in the back there. Uh, and if you install a SIM, you can enable live tracking direct from the device and you can upload your um, rides and you can download your routes without a Wi-Fi connection, which is quite handy when you're on a multi-day tour. Charging the Karoo is uh, with via this USB-C port on the back. It's rated as IP67 waterproof, but if you're out riding on off-road or on gritty winter lanes, it's possible to get a sort of muck and dirt flicking into the port. And it comes with a little rubber cover for the port there, but it's loose, so Mind you, don't lose it like I just have on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of changes to the physical unit for this version too, but what's it like to use? Dave, you've had a couple of months now with the new Karoo 2. How have you been getting on? Well, you know, there's a learning curve with any new thing, but it's pretty simple to get a hang of really. I mean, I mostly use a GPS like this for navigating and recording rides outdoors, so I haven't really spent much time using, you know, the workout functions and things like that. Mm. But for, Day-to-day -day use on the road, it's excellent. You can sync your routes from tools like Komoot or you can create them on Hammerhead's own dashboard, which works pretty well. And if you've got a data connection uh, on the Karoo, so you put a SIM card in it or you connect it to Wi-Fi, you can route directly on the device as well. 
Another thing you can do is add the Karoo Root Grab extension uh, to your web browser. Then you just click on the icon and it'll import the root from whatever web page you're looking at directly into the Hammerhead dashboard, which is even quicker to do. Turn by turn navigation works really well and there's an elevation page too that shows you what's coming up on your ride. Um, the Karoo 2 will reroute on the fly if you go off course. And there's masses of internal storage for maps. So, you know, if you're heading abroad, you can just download the bit of the world that you need. Uh, the map detail is really good and the turn by turn directions pop up from the bottom of the screen. So if you've enabled the Karoo to get notifications from your phone, which you can do, then that's where you'll find those two. And there's one other thing down the bottom of the screen that I know you're gonna like, Liam. So the Karoo detects the climbs along the way. Ooh. Gives you a little graphic of yeah. the full climb, what the gradients are along the way, how far it is to the top. You know I do love a climbing feature. I know you love enough. a climbing feature. And although I always take the mic, um, actually I found it pretty useful on routes that I didn't know. So I'm kind of a convert now. Uh, we'll make a climber out of him soon. No, you absolutely won't. Anyway, moving on, this Dragon Tail uh, scratch resistant screen is really good. It has an anti glare coating, that means it works well in direct sunlight, uh, and the touch screen works really well. Uh, in the rain, it's not as effective, obviously, but um, they never are really. Thankfully, the crew has plenty of hardware buttons there, so you can lock the screen and use those for swapping between pages when it's raining. And in terms of what the screen actually shows, the world's your oyster really mm. can have. Um, pretty much any number of data fields. Up to 12. Up to 12. Yeah. Uh, there's 10 different map layouts with different data on top. Uh, there's 11 graphical layouts for things like uh, the elevation graphs I was talking about, um, and heart rate and power zones and things like that. You can have multiple pages and you can have multiple profiles with different sets of pages. So whatever you want to use it for, you know, you should be okay. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, we use our computers a bit differently though, whereas Dave likes to have it for navigation. For me, right now, it's more about training and competition. Um, and the thing I like to do most is, uh, well, to at least try and bag some Strava comms. I'm chasing <laughs> Andrew Feather around there, which is a national hill climb champion. You can connect it with Strava Premium. Uh, it'll automatically sync all your start segments onto your, onto your device. Then if you do that, the, Car um, the Carew's live segment overlay is displayed when you hit the segment and you get distance covered, the distance remaining, um, the elevation profile and the elapsed time. And there's some cool stuff as well. So you get your, your a little yellow dot on it and then there's a little carrot symbol for the fastest person you follow. That'd be Andrew <laughs> Feather for you, yeah. I expect. And then there's a little wolf symbol, which is the nearest nearest competitor to you behind you. Mm -hmm. So making sure you stay ahead of them. So it's a nice bit of gamification really. And it's great for motivating you on those super hard efforts. I'll just be watching the carrot right away. <laughs> yeah, um, now, I'm rarely out for more than like four hours, uh, but I know you like to ride across the country. Um, what's the battery life like? Yeah, it's pretty good. Hammerhead says between seven and 14 hours, depending on how you have it set up. So things like pairing sensors and having the screen brightness high will eat into the battery life. Now I found that I was getting about 10 or 11 hours out of a charge. And Anna, when she reviewed it, got about the same. It's worth saying that the USB-C port will charge it from flat in about, well, charge it from flat to about 30% in about 30 minutes. So it's pretty easy to top it up at cafe stops and you can charge it on the go too. So if you carry a battery pack on longer rides mm. like I do, then it's easy to keep it running, even over multi-day rides. So summing up, the Karoo 2 has made it into our recommends list. So we know it's a great bit of kit. What is it though, Dave, that makes it stand out? Well, it's building on what was already a good GPS and it's, it's better in nearly every way. So it's more powerful, the interface is slicker, it's easy to use, it has loads of cool features. I mean, everyone uses a GPS computer in a different way. I mean, we've, we've said that about ourselves, but there's enough packed in here to make it a really good choice for whatever your needs are. So that's all you need to know about the Hammerhead Karoo 2. Can you see it ending up on your bars? Uh, let us know down in the comments. And also, while you're there, ask us anything that we haven't covered or any questions that you have about this unit. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon.